Welcome back to another battle video. So this is my Rayquaza uh, electric deck and I believe I'm going up against a Blastoise Keldeo featuring Black Kyurem as well. So my my start's not bad. Uh, free Retreat Amolga, my Call for Family Amolga, and my little Rayquaza. So probably go with the little, or I'm sorry, the Amolga as my starter. And then if I have the ability or the opportunity to take the donk on little Rayquaza, I can always just retreat back to it. I uh, wish I had a lightning in the discard and maybe a supporter other than Colrus. Um, Colrus really isn't going to help me out at the moment. And looks like, wow, my opponent is getting a nice strong start. Double Squirtle, Keldeo on the bench, starting off with Black Hiram, and Bianca to fill up the hand, but um, unfortunately no energy on that end. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and attach my Amolga, and now that he ha he benched a little bit more, um, I, I think I'll be alright with the Colrissa 4. Uh, well, maybe not. Um, and then I'll call for family for at least one more Tynemo and maybe a big Rayquaza as well. And at this point, I'm just hoping I top into a supporter, um, but at least I have some energy to, to get things going as well. Maybe I should have waited until next turn to use the Colrus after I use Call for Family, but uh, it's kind of late now. So he Ultra Balls, and oh man, so he's going to get the turn 2 Blastoise. It's going to put a lot of pressure on me right now, and unless I top a supporter, my start is not going to be able to come anywhere near his. So on top of that, he Junipers. I was really hoping for an N. Um... He throws down two water energy, uses energy retrieval to get a third, attaches it to the Kyurem. Uh, don't really know why he did that, but okay. Or, no, we end up taking it back and then benching it to the... Okay, so um, I mean, things look like they got a little rushed, but it looks like he, uh, he didn't take it back. He just used rush in with the bench Keldeo. So, unfortunately, I really don't hit anything, and I'm just going to call for family again for probably another Tynemo, because I have a feeling I'm going to start losing them soon. Um, and at this point, we're pretty much just in top deck mode, and hoping that I can draw into something useful. So, really? There's no... Were there no more Tynemo? Um, hmm. Wasn't quite looking, but, uh... I guess not. So he hits another Juniper, gets another water energy on the Keldeo, or I'm sorry, that looks like a prism, catches up my Tynemo, and it's going to definitely knock it out. So we're going to promote eh, just a free retreat of Molga, and still don't hit a supporter. Um. I have literally played one card. Um, the rest has been Call for Family. So I'll go ahead and play the Little Red Claws out of my hand. We'll, we'll go ahead and maybe if I just thin out the deck, I'll be able to draw into something. We'll level ball for an eel, at least get that out, um, even though I really can't use it yet. Um, now if he has another catcher, I'm in big trouble. So we're going to retreat back to the Little Red Claws and... Dragon Pulse, and discard the top two. So, it looks like I discarded a Super Rod and a Sky Arrow. Um, so, that's really good, uh, actually, because if I had... that, that would That's two dead hands. Uh, two, or two more dead hands for me. Uh, if I hadn't done that. So, uh, plays Pokemon Center, gets a Skyla, Candy, prob we're looking at another Blastoise here. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's really any way I can come back from this, and he takes out my little Rayquaza. So, hopefully I top something good. Nope. Um. So, well, Dynamotor. Um. This is just rough. And then I guess I'll use... The super rod to put the Tynemo and the Rayquaza back. Um, 
And then I can call for family, at least, to get the Tynamo back on the field. Um, now here, I'm, I'm paying attention to the order. Yeah, so I actually have two Tynamo prized, which is not helpful. So right now, the Sky Arrow is the top card of the deck. Um, and I've been watching this. I'm, I've noticed that sometimes um, the deck actually doesn't shuffle after you search it. So I'm curious to see if I draw into the Sky Arrow. Um, so he coerces for 10. Ouch. Um, yeah. Catchers up my eel. And definitely going to kill that eel. <laughs> Uh, it looks like he's attaching some water on to the bench, the black Kiram, and another one on the Kiram as well. He rushes in uh, twice to heal with Pokemon Center. Uh, don't really think it's really necessary, but why not? He can. And knocks it out. So, uh, finally I hit a supporter. So, we're going to Juniper, and... Maybe we can get something going. So, we'll go ahead and attach the fire for the turn. Oh, actually, that was a really good Juniper. Uh, we'll play the Sky Arrow. Uh, I'm going to level ball for an eel. And then I'll be able to Ultra Ball that Lightning and an N away uh, for probably just a Tynamo. Oh, I don't think I have any more Tynamo, though. Um, yeah, with two of them prized, there's... Honestly, that there's not much I can do, because I've already, I've used a Super Rod and I discarded one, so... Um, we might as well go for another uh, Big Rayquaza. Uh, that can, that's going to be one-shotting EXs, so that's really my only hope, is just to one-shot them. Um, Little Rayquaza might help out uh, against Black Kiram, maybe, but uh, we'll see. Right now, he's just got so much of a lead, and with two of my Tynamo being prized, I really don't know if I can do much. So we're going to retreat back to the other uh, Rayquaza. I'm not going to bench that Rayquaza, or I shouldn't bench it. Um, oh, well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. And we'll go ahead and take the knockout by discarding all three. So I'm not going to be able to keep up that lovely stream of knockouts, unfortunately, but at least I'll be able to take two prize cards, one of which is a Tynamo, and another Molga. So he's definitely going to be able to take the knockout on my Rayquaza. Not only does he hit me for 200 damage if he can get a lightning attached to it, but he's also going to hit me for weakness, um, which puts him down to only one prize card, down to my up to my four. Um, and there's the computer search. So... Um, if he doesn't have the lightning in hand, he should definitely have it with that computer search. Yep, there we go. And he's going to deal 400 damage to my Rayquaza. That's not overkill. Um, now my hope is that I can just get something really good off of uh, an N. An N of 4 for me, and ending him down to 1. So I might still be able to stand a small chance. So I'm going to put up the Emolga. Um, we're definitely going to bench that Tynamo. And... Oh, where to attach? So... Hmm... Either way, I'm going to need two turns to power this guy up, so... Go ahead and play the N and hope that he doesn't hit what he needs and I, and that can stall me for a few more turns. So we'll Dynamotor to get one onto that Rayquaza and next turn I'll be able to take out an EX. I would like to point out that on this N of 4, um, even after thinning my deck out, de deck out significantly, I still don't have a supporter in hand, um, which means I've only played three. Um, kind of sad for an entire game. So I'm going to promote the other Rayquaza just to, uh, hopefully he can't one-shot it. And off of his N of 1 and a single card, he hits a Retrieval and an Energy. Just perfect what he needs to, t uh, to take the knockout. So 
Um, amazing luck on that last hand of his, although he probably still would have had the game anyways. Um, but that was an amazing, just, yeah, uh, two cards were the exact two cards he needed. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this kind of a, kind of a one-sided game, but, um, I, I occasionally have people complain that I don't show enough games where I lose, so just wanted to show you that, uh, they do exist. They're just typically, um, one-sided like this, and, uh, there's, I don't really think they're that entertaining, but, um, if you guys think they are, um, I can probably find a few more that I can upload. So, let me know, hope you guys enjoyed, and stay tuned for more coming up!